You use a constant value in a spreadsheet? Here's how and why this is tip of day. This is actually pretty easy, but when I was learning to be a super spreadsheet geek, this one tripped me up a little bit, so I hope it helps some of you. When we create a spreadsheet to analyze data, it's common to create our formula and then drag the cells to populate the rows and the columns of the spreadsheet dynamically, filling them in for us. For example, let's say I want to see how much I would save in two years if I put $1,000 a month into an account. I could create a spreadsheet with my starting balance and then create a row for the first month savings, add that to my opening balance, drag that down for 12 rows and I'll see that I have $12,000 after a year. The key is that as we drag down, the spreadsheet knows to add the next value down for each subsequent row. Now let's say I want to do the same calculation but I want to include interest. I can add a cell for my interest amount, let's say it's a quarter of a percent per month. The problem is that when I drag, the cells will move to the next row down as we would expect and I'll lose that interest value which should stay the same. This is our constant. To make that value not change, as I drag my cells, I can simply put a dollar sign before the column letter and the row number referencing the constant value in the starting formula. So now when I drag, the spreadsheet knows that I want that cell to always refer to the original cell and not move as I drag. The best part is, now I can change my interest rate in one place to see the effect across all the rows. That's all there is to it. What are your favorite spreadsheet tips? Let me know on Google Plus at gplus.to slash Scott Ellis or on Twitter at VS Ellis or just leave us a comment below. As always, there are more geeky tips at geekbeat.tv slash tip a day. Learn something new every day. Key is no. learn grammar. Huh. <laughs> the key is I learned English, not my first language.